Three years ago, several female Virginia Cooperative Extension agents saw a growing need for hands-on training for other women entering the field of agriculture. Many of these skills are not taught anywhere else but on the farm. So they started the Women Increasing Skills in Education program, or WISE. This is the first year it covered both handling livestock and farm equipment in a two-day session at Graves Mountain Farm and Lodges. The first session we did the chainsaws and that was fun. I've worked with chainsaws a little bit before but not really that much so it was good to learn about that. And then we did the ATVs and it was interesting to learn about the pesticides uh, and how all of that can be illegal or legal. I didn't really know that you can't just buy something at the store and use it. You have to be certified or it has to be registered for Virginia. I didn't know that. The opportunity to learn more about the technical aspects of farming appealed to women of all ages and experience. So I married into a cattle family, um, which is a bit intimidating when they grow up, you know, learning how to drive tractors and use chainsaws and, you know, backup skid steers and things like that. And sometimes I feel like I'm late to the party and would like to know those things. And this is just kind of a, a less intimidating space to ask those questions um, to learn those techniques and to feel more confident to step in and say, hey, I can help you, you know, do this chore today or do that activity tomorrow. I definitely think it's, it's bumped me up uh, multiple levels just because, you know, if, if I see um, that the cows need help feeding and we need to put some round bales out, I can say, hey, I've done that before and I can go jump in the tractor and it might take me a few minutes on our tractor to figure out the levers, but then, you know, I've learned the techniques here and I can get in and just kind of help do our feedings and help the farm um, you know on short notice which is really helpful. We designed it for hands-on skills so we try not to do any powerpoints everything is hands-on out with animals out with equipment women are driving tractors are driving skid steers they're using chainsaws you know we're giving shots we're um, doing a whole variety of things um, and the whole point of it is is that it's not just education but it's physically getting used to some of these skills and things going on. Um, the program is designed no matter if you're 16 years plus uh, and very used to these, you know, skills and things on the farm or if you've not even started that you get that opportunity. Um, and women network during this time period. They teach you their different tips and, and um, things that make it easier for them uh, on the farm and it just gives them opportunity to try things that maybe they haven't felt comfortable with, um, like a skid steer or things that they you know, want a little bit more work with, like maybe backing up a gooseneck. I love that it was hands-on, and to be honest, I didn't realize we'd be having all the different stations that we'd go. I thought it was just tractors, cows, and um, truck and trailer. I didn't know we'd be doing chainsaws and fencing, and I'm just overwhelmed by how much is being offered and how much of it is hands-on. Um, and I'm a child of the 60s, so anything that says women, I'm all over. Like, just hands down, I'll go in that direction. What I'm finding is talking to so many women who say they're farmers. I've never met so many women farmers, and I'm enjoying talking to other students here as I am being a student learning about equipment and kind of say, oh, I'd like to work for her. I'd like to find out about fencing, how she does it. And she's my size and she's doing all of this, maybe even close to my age. Safety on the farm is a key element of all the WISE presentations. And that's one of the reasons why we started this program is, you know, practical on farm, useful knowledge and skills that will actually make a difference on the farm. And also part of it's safety. So as many, especially like ATV safety and RTV safety, as many accidents as we have, if we can, you know, show these ladies and give them some tips and things and have them have their family be safer, then I think it's worthwhile. There are so many people that will sit here and they say, oh, well, we have a skid steer, but I've never run it. Or we have a tractor, but I don't know how to start it. And they don't feel comfortable asking because they feel like they'll be looked down on or, you know, treated like an invalid when uh, they just needed it. a little you'll coaching. And they can come here and get coaching and then go home. And no, they're not gonna come out of here a seasoned professional operator, but when they get home, they know enough that they can take guidance. And God forbid something horrible happens and 
they have the safety precautions to get a tractor off of someone or to raise a bucket if someone's trapped. There's, there's more to it than just operating. Cattle producer Tanya Harmon saw so much value in her first WISE conference, she came back to teach others the next year. I had an experience with my first year here. I learned a little trick from one of the veterinarians about dealing with stuck calves. Well, I didn't have any stuck calves that year, but the next year I had a calf born backwards, and it was not too long before the Cattle Wise event, and I was able to go up to Dr. Schramm, who taught me the little trick the year before, and I said, you know, that saved a life, and I wouldn't have known it if she hadn't told me that little trick. Byington says their next step is to move future programs around the state while maintaining the quality of instruction. It's all about serving rural Virginians, especially the growing number of women farmers. So it's, it's building a community um, and also, you know, fostering more skills. You know, it's nice that, you know, like I'm an extension agent and, and it's nice to have kind of like the actual component of knowledge, but being able to put into practice and what's actually practical, and that's a, that's a big thing for me. Um, the future of agriculture, especially in Virginia, is largely women run. Uh, there are incentives to help encourage women and minorities into the agriculture industry. And by doing programs like this, it opens the doors. Um, as the workforce is changing and women are finding ways to make some money but to stay home, it's not an unheard of idea to be able to run the farm. And I mean, we run the beef cattle and my husband works and it works out very well and I can be productive and have a salary of my own and still contribute, but I'm there with the kids and my kids are learning a very responsible lifestyle. They've learned to work, they have a work ethic, and they have respect for life. WISE programs are part of a regular outreach to serve women farmers. You can find out more by visiting the Virginia Cooperative Extension's Women in Agriculture page or following them on Facebook. In Madison County, Virginia, I'm Ricky Gibson reporting.